we're going to go over conditional formatting in Excel. In this case, we're going to reference a different cell. This came up recently where they wanted a cell to change colors if a certain condition is met, but, it, but it's not something that's predetermined or part of uh, one of the templates within Excel. So we have to type in the formula ourselves. So let's go ahead and get started. So here in column A, we have a list of locations um, for these stores. Then we have column B with brand A and column C with brand B. So we want the city, the cell that it's in, to change colors if both brand A and brand B exist, or if there's one or the other, or none at all. First, we will select the cities or the cells that we want the conditional formatting to take effect. Then in the format, in the, sorry, in the home tab, we're going to pull down conditional formatting. Then we're gonna to go to new rule because this particular uh, scenario doesn't exist. And then click on use a formula to determine which cells to format. Then in this open field, you will enter the first one. So in this case, uh, we are going to enter uh, a formula to determine if brand A and brand B uh, do not exist. So we're gonna do equal sign and B2 less than greater than symbols. That is equivalent to does not equal to and then open quote, X, X, close quote, comma, then C2 does not equal to sign. And then the X in quotes again, and then close paren. So this formula is going to check if there's both an X in brand A and brand B, which is why we're using this and formula. And we want the format to fill it in with red Then click OK. And then click OK again. So you see here, Jersey City, it neither has brand A or brand B. So it turned red. So now we're going to enter the others, pull down the conditional formatting again, new rule, use a formula, click in the field again, equal sign and B2 equals X. So now we're doing equal sign. So we wanna know if both the X's exist in both brand A and brand B. The other one we just did showed us uh, when brand A and brand B do not have access. All right, and C2 equals X. And this time we'll make this green and make sure you're in the fill tab. You might default to the number um, then or the font, then the font will change, but you want it to be filled with this color. So we're gonna do green here, then okay. So you see here, Atlanta, Chicago, and New York each have an X in both brand A and brand B. All right, just one more to go. For the next formula, we want the city to highlight yellow if either brand A or brand B is selected. So again, we're going to pull down the conditional formatting, click on new rule, click on use a formula, go into the field, equal sign. Now this is an or statement because it could be either A or B. So we start the formula with an or. Then B2 equal sign X comma C2 equal sign X. Then close paren. And we want it to turn yellow. So click on format, fill, yellow, click OK, then OK. Now, you'll notice here it changed some of the green ones to yellow. I allow this to happen because I wanted to show that the order in which you enter these formulas matter. So again, let's re-highlight this, then go to conditional formatting, manage rule. 
You can't have the or statement at the very top because as soon as that is satisfied, it becomes yellow. We need to push that towards the bottom so the ands can um, be evaluated first. So let's go ahead and let's bring this down to the very last and then click apply. So you'll notice it's now correct. The green has two X's, the yellows have one X, and um, the red has no X's. So we'll click OK here. We'll put an X here and you'll see now it turns green. Let's say there are none in New York. Now it turns red. This is an X here, now it's yellow. The X here is green. All right. Um, in the body of the, in the description of the video, you'll find a file, this file, if you want to download it and just take a look at it. And I'll have the formulas in the, descri in the description as well. So uh, in case you're on your phone and you can't type these out quickly, you have it handy. All right, well, that's it for today. Please leave a like or in the message, it really helps the channel out. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please just let me know. Thanks, bye.